Peace family. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. So today we're going to talk about a topic that I think is very important for those of you who are interested in purchasing property or items, but you don't have the money up front. And that is rent to own. And the reason I want to discuss it with you is because I want you to know what is inside of the contracts that may cause you not to be able to own that particular piece of property or item. Now, we're going to go through a list of a few things that are not really good and they're basically cons for rent to own and so i want you to know these things so first thing is interest so when you sign a contract for a rent to own property typically the interest rate is around 200 percent or even more just to basically try to own the property therefore as you are paying off the, the on this particular item or property then what is happening is that you're paying a lot of interest when you're trying to purchase this item. Therefore, they're making a lot more money on the back end from interest than you're actually, uh, that is for the uh, value of the item that you're actually paying for. So say for instance, if you are trying to buy an item, hypothetically speaking, that's $500. Well, by the end of the term, uh, you may be paying $3,000, but you don't know it because you're paying a certain amount say for instance, if it's $12 a month or something like that. So you have to be very, very mindful of these companies because they like to scam people and make people think that they're getting a deal, but in actuality, uh, they're not. The second thing is when you are trying to get the item, many times the item is not in as good of a condition as it was when you first got that item. So you may think that you're getting something that's new or it may be used, but they don't tell you exactly what's wrong with it. So when you're going to get the item, you say, well, I'm gonna do rent to own, it may not be um, your, your best interest to go and get this particular item. You may just wanna go ahead and get a newer item. You know, and there are rent to own companies that do offer new items, but at the same time, as we mentioned in point number one, that you're paying over 200% interest uh, for that particular property or item. And the last thing is when you miss a payment, see what they do is that they have a certain way to write the contracts that if you miss at least one payment, then you lose the ability to be able to own the property. Therefore, when you are trying, say for instance, if you've been paying off rent to own item for three years, right? Something happened uh, after the third year and now you are trying to um, make payments, but you unfortunately are not able to well if you miss one payment then a lot of times what will happen is that they'll say that you cannot you can no longer own the item now you paid all this money and all this interest and you no longer are able to own the item but you did not know that because you did not um base you weren't able to tell exactly what the legal terms were in the original contract because they write in such a way and they have a lawyer to do it so that most people do not know exactly what it actually says. So these are just a few things that I want to discuss with you all in regards to rent to own. I do not recommend this for you. There are other means and methods by which you can uh, obtain items. Um, and we talk about those in our other videos, but I want to be able to discuss that with you. All right, family, so if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at contact.credithealing.org. And if you're ready to get started and you want to start to build and heal your credit, Go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.